let's review over the things that we're covering in the first nine weeks. Um, let me also remind you that the video is going to be time stamped. If you look down in the description below, you can see um, when we talk about posture and when we talk about breathing and hand position and each of the notes. And so feel free to use this as a quick reference to skip around and practice along with. <clears throat> All right, and talking about breathing, we, uh, I'm sorry, with posture, we always want to think about having a tall, active back. We don't want to hunch forward like this. We want to be nice and tall, be in the front half of our chair, and our feet are flat on the floor. When we breathe, we want to breathe into our gut. We'll expand here first, and then the expansion will rise. And you're breathing significantly more than you normally do whenever you're just um, you know, breathing to live. Okay. Um, to hold your euphonium, it is going to rest perpendicular with your lap, so don't do it don't do it this way where it falls between your legs. It's going to go perpendicular, and then um, the, the instrument should rest right here. You might need to tilt the instrument down a little bit to get that to work. We're going to use our first three fingers in our right hand, and then you'll use your index finger here in your, your left hand. Okay? So um, also whenever you're pushing down the valves, make sure you keep your fingers nice and round and that the fingers don't come off the keys whenever you're not pushing certain notes. Okay, let's also review our, um, our high sounds and low sounds, and uh, we'll actually start with low sounds. So uh, we're going to use a taller aperture. We want to let our teeth be apart. We're going to blow our air more forward. We'll use warmer air, and then we're not going to worry about this slower air stuff um, just yet, but that is something that happens as we get extremely low. To do higher sounds, we're going to shift from doing the low sounds to high sounds. We want to use faster air. Blow your air farther away, use cooler air, and blow your air more downward. And, um, and obviously we need to stay relaxed while we're doing these, uh, and our abdomen is going to project quite a bit here. We certainly don't want to get tense while we're practicing. Okay, Let's play a B-flat. B-flat is going to be on the second line, and it's going to have a flat sign. The fingering for B-flat is, um, is open, so I'll play the note, and then you can play it right after me. turn. Ready, go. Let's try it again. My turn. Your turn. Ready, go. My turn. Your turn. My turn. Let's go to C. C is on the second space, and it is fingered fourth valve. That's going to be your left hand index finger. Here's a C. Your turn. Ready, go. My turn. Let's go to D. The fingering for D is first and second, and you'll find it on the third line. Here's a D, my turn. Your turn, ready, go. My turn. Your turn, ready, go. My turn. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. All right, next let's go to E flat. E flat is on the third space, and it has a flat sign in front of it. The fingering for E flat is first valve. Here we go, here's E flat. Your turn, ready, go. 
make sure we breathe out before we play. My turn. Your turn. Ready, go. My turn. Your turn. Ready, go. My turn. Your turn. Ready, go. All right, now let's go to F. This is the highest note that we're going to be doing, so we're really thinking about these things here, and especially projecting the air from the abdomen. The fingering for F is open, and it is on the fourth line. Here's an F. Your turn. Lots of air. My turn. time stamped all of the different sections in here so you can go down to the description below and easily navigate around the different parts of the video. I hope that this becomes something useful for you to practice along with and that you enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.